I am uh, I'm Russ uh, Makovsky, the founder of the Gift of Chess. Um, a lot of the Gift of Chess success and the distribution we have across Africa um, started with the trip from Tyrone Davis while he was uh, studying at MIT. Um, during spring break, he took a commercial flight from New York City from LaGuardia to Lagos with 500 chess sets um, on board to, to, to connect with Tundi Onakoya um, from Chess in the Slums. And um, he traveled across uh, Lagos, including a trip to Makoko. Uh, which is the largest floating slum in, uh, in Africa, and he distributed chess sets um, to the kids there. And it really created a connection and, and, and a moment where we realized that there was an incredible gap of access to chess sets um, in, um, in, in Nigeria and in Lagos, but there's also an incredible interest in the game of chess. On return back to New York, um, we, we discussed uh, returning to Africa in some capacity, and we decided to return uh, shortly after, in the next uh, six months, we returned back to Africa with uh, 5,000 chess sets that we brought. Uh, we had brought um, 2,000 chess sets into Kenya, into Nairobi, and we had brought an additional 3,000 chess sets into, back into Lagos. And from Nairobi, we were able to reach 1,000 chess sets by, by uh, truck into uh, Uganda, into Kampala. So we had 1,000 chess sets in, uh, in Nairobi, 1,000 chess sets in, in uh, Uganda, and Kampala. And then we had 3,000 more chess sets in Nigeria, and 1,000 of those we were able to get into, uh, into Ghana, Accra, Ghana, um, 1,000 of those sets. So um, at that point, after our first trip from um, New York with Tyrone with 500 chess sets, it turned into 5,000 chess sets that had reached Ghana, uh, Nigeria, Kenya, and Uganda. And then uh, it just became clearer and clearer the, the demand and the interest and the excitement for chess sets, not only in these countries, but across the entire continent of Africa. And that's something as simple as a chess set can be used as a tool uh, for education, for opportunity, um, that dreams could take flight with something as simple as a, as a chess set. And uh, so we put our heads together and we, we decided to return to Africa once again, this time with 50,000 chess sets. So, you know, it started at 500, turned into 5,000, which turned into 50,000. And uh, so 50,000 chess sets are now in Africa. Um, half are based out of um, Kenya, in Nairobi, 25,000 of them. We have another 20. Um, thousand that currently just landed in Accra, Ghana, um, this past week, and they're uh, they're in our possession. We're going to be planning the distribution of chess across the entire West Africa, um, and we're talking about you know a lot of people have donated a lot of things uh, in, in the name of charity. Um, it could be educational things, it could be food, it could be uh, resources, um, but to distribute chess sets as a form of uh, not just charity, but as a as a as a tool for empowerment, um, it's very unique. And if you really think about the game. What's a better tool for um, empowerment? What's more low cost than the game of chess, which ha which has so many societal benefits built into the game, which has such a large history and tradition um, and is globally recognized um, as the game of chess. So we think it's a very unique idea and we think it's a very powerful idea in that we know that a single chess set can change a life. It's changed my life. It changed the life of people like my George Walker, Tundi Anakoya, you know, Tani Tulu Adeyumi. You see, they, they got access to a chess set and it changed their life forever. Um, we know one second change a change life. What about 50,000 chess sets? You know, what kind of impact will that have on the future of Africa? And not just on Africa, but on the world as we continue to distribute chess sets globally. You know, um, you get a chess set into a community. The community only becomes better with the addition of that chess set. You know, only good things happen when you put a, a chess set into a community. Chess set has the ability to transform a community. Listen, you have the educational benefits of the game of chess, but you also have this incredible social benefits of the game of chess, it becomes a connective tool. It's able to connect multiple layers of society across genders, across races, across religions, across social economics. When you put that chess set in there, it becomes what they call the great equalizer. So you have the equalizing ability of the game of chess. You also have the ability of the game of chess to um, help train the brain, to create critical thinkers, strategic thinkers across the globe. And it also identifies talent, you know? You know when you put a chess set out there, you can begin to understand the the, uh, the talent, identify talent, you know, and they say that talent can be found in the most unlikely of places. You can be in, a, in, a, in the slums of Kampala, you know, with four-year-old four Elijah, as you had seen in the videos, you know, or it could be on Park Avenue in New York City, but you get in front of that board, and chess is a universal game, and it's universally benchmarked. You know, you play chess well in Kampala, it's the same as playing chess well in New York City, or in anywhere in the world, so we can identify talent, hopefully, once we find talent, we can give those those with talent greater opportunities to um, to let that talent blossom, and hopefully that talent will be a gateway not just to be great at chess, but for greater academic opportunities or great greater opportunities in life.
Um, you know that chess can be a catalyst. It doesn't need to be the means of an end, but it can just be um, a, a catalyst to, to multiple ends, um, as it were. And so um, next, uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be going back to Africa. Um, once again, Tyrone Davis is going to be flying from New York, and this time he's going to be flying into Ghana. We're going to announce the distribution of our, our chess sets across West Africa, and we're going to announce the, uh, the launch of our manufacturing capacity in Ghana. And it's also going to be the time of the Accra Classic, hosted by Charles, where people from all over West Africa are going to come in for a competition. And the, and the games and matches will be played on, on chess sets that we've manufactured locally in Ghana. And that's pretty profound. You know, not only is the gift of chess now creating opportunities through the game of chess, it's creating industry where we're creating jobs and the opportunity to bring in money and resources um, across Africa. And uh, if we can do that, it's going to have a profound impact on the local economies um, in the countries that we're serving, um, starting in, um, in Ghana. So Tyrone Davis, on behalf of the Gifted Chess, the founding board member, will be flying to, uh, to Ghana um, to meet, a lot, meet Charles along with uh, members of the Gifted Chess team um, to um, uh, welcome um, those par participating in the Accra Classic and also launch the distribution of 20,000 chess sets across West Africa. And in the process, we're going to be highlighting um, our local manufacturing that we've been working on in Ghana and the sets that we play on in the Croc Classic will be have locally manufactured in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in Ghana itself. And you know, in the years to come, the next six months to a year, two years, our next goal is we want to reach all of the Americas with um, the gift of chess. There's 41 countries from Argentina all the way up into Canada. And uh, we want to get a thousand chess sets to each one of these countries in the Americas. And we hope that we can purchase these chess sets from our factory in, uh, in Ghana. And if the, if the capacity is available, we'll be certainly um, supporting that, that economy and that outreach and building uh, manufacturing capacity. And once we say we reach, you know, across Africa, we've reached 50 countries across Africa, and we're in 41 countries in the Americas, we're going to continue to reach in all of the world. You know, we'll end up in Europe, we'll end up in, um, in Asia. And our, our goal is to reach the entire world, eventually distributing 1 million chess sets by the, uh, by the goal of the year 20, 20, uh, 2030. And all this stuff is, is incredibly... Um, exciting, um, and I just want you guys to know that I speak to you is that if you believe in education, you know, if you're a humanitarian, don't be distracted by the game of chess. The, the, we're using the game of chess as a simple tool, but what we're really doing is we're, we're addressing major issues that uh, are dear to many of us. You know, refugees, chess helps them integrate and gives them a home away from home. If you're a prisoner and you're, you're incarcerated, chess is a, is a tool of rehabilitation, but it's also escape beyond the four walls of a prison cell. If you're in an area that does not have access to formal education, you introduce chess into community, it's reimagining education beyond the four walls of a classroom because true education is building the capacity to think. And when you're making the moves on the board, the magic in the brain synapses, you're thinking, and you're, 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 you're utilizing those tools and those skills in your brain that can, that can, can build the capacity for true education. Um, so if you believe in those things, I think you should help support to get the chess. It's low cost, it's played globally, it's universal, okay? The, 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 the board, the piece, the rules, that's the curriculum, that's the outline. And it's, it's a global currency, it's an intellectual currency that's, that's, um, that's welcomed in any country. And anywhere in the world you can bring a board and chess set and chess pieces and really recognize as intelligent, intellectual, of something of value. And it's a currency that we can build out and we can trade on and use to create incredible opportunity um, globally. You know, so we hope you join us. Um, we're Get the Chess is a 501c3 charity based out of here in the United States. Um, donations are tax deductible. I would consider if you want to put your money towards something of, of value, if you want to invest in something, join us. Uh, we think investing in chess is a great, um, is a great use of our, our resources. Investing in people, investing in the next generation, a next generation of critical thinkers. You know, the most important resource on planet Earth is the human brain because the human brain has the ability to solve problems and evolve and survive. And you know, we think that chess is a, is a tool that can, that can strengthen the human brain and can bring more critical thinkers into the, um, the population. Um, and so thank you for following our work with the gift of chess. Um, you know, to date we've distributed 75,000 chess sets uh, globally. Um, works with a lot of work across prisons and refugees um, and educational opportunities. But listen, chess is great for everybody. You know, chess can be used for someone that's lonely, someone that's, you know, um, without family or that's you know feeling isolated. You pick up a chess board, you, you go to the local library, you go to the local park or the community center, you put a game out there and listen, you put that game in that community, people will, people will connect with you. And what started as a game that's being enjoyed will turn into a friendship and will turn into human connectivity. If you're anxious, feeling depressed, if you're lonely, 
um, if you're looking for a way to, um, to, 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 to utilize your brain if you're elderly and you're trying to look for a way to connect with your grandchildren, if you're trying to meet new people authentically, if you're looking ways to heal relationships in the community, it's just an incredibly powerful tool that um, is applicable to so many different walks of life and people. And we encourage you to come alongside us in, uh, in, the, in our journey with the, um, with the gift of chess. And, uh, and uh, our goal is to reach one million chess as global, like I said, by 2030. Um, if you're listening to this, you hear this, you know, no donation is too big or too small. Um, no efforts um, or ability to volunteer or skill set is, is without value. So we encourage you to come alongside us and, uh, and do that. And I think that, you know, we, 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 we may not be able to solve all the world's problems, but, but I think in this way, in this small way, that we can, we can be helpful. Um, that chess can be helpful as a tool, that we can be helpful, we really can get it out to the people, and we can give the people all over the world a simple tool where they can become the heroes of their own story. You know, you give someone a chess set, they can become a change maker. Instead of watching passively, they can take that chess set and they can go out there into the community. They can help educate, they can re help rehabilitate, they can help integrate. So um, we hope you become a change maker, become a builder, build alongside of us, and uh, thank you for all your support.